Now, I'm just going to assume you're here for one of two reasons. Jalu. You want to know Jalu? One of my thoughts so far. Or you just saw this video upload. Hey, Vivarage posted a new video. Yay. And I appreciate that. So regardless of why you're here, let's, let's get this on with, huh? Now, I only have like five Jalu fragrances. And it's surprising. I actually don't have much Jalu fragrances. What speaker? This? This? That's fine. You ready? Is it, I've been sitting with these things for about man, almost a year now. The very first fragrance I got from him was this one, Top G. And that was back in April last year. And then we did another collab. He sent me these four. And I have some things to say. Now, the really cool thing about Jalou is he was actually a fan, a follower, a supporter, whatever you want to call him, right? He was there from the beginning when I only had like 5,000 followers. And legitimately, out of nowhere, he just DMs and says, yo, bro, big fan. And I'm actually launching my own fragrance brand. You reckon you could like feature it on your account? And I was like, sure. And so he went from like supporter, fan, whatever, to Jalou. And I'm proud of him for all the success he's built around him. One thing about Jalou is I've noticed he doesn't have the most biggest community, right? And he's still a small guy. He's still an underdog. But the people who are fans of Jalou are hardcore fans. Like they swear by these things. And I can see why Jalou, all these fragrances, they're really potent. Like I'm just gonna give you a little spray of Icarus. Let me show you this. That's just like a half spray. And we'll let this dry down. Look at that. Look how freaking concentrated that shit is. What I like about Jalou so far is that he's kind of like this underdog personal perfumer type shit. Like you literally see his setup and all his social media. He's like in this fruit shop. And then when you walk in, there's like a perfume station and everybody gets their fragrances made and he makes them right in front of you. It's just, I love the community he's building. That's one of my, one of my favorite things about him. The fragrances itself though are freaking fantastic. Now I did write a list of stuff I have to say about the fragrances. Let me, let me start by saying these fragrances are very well made. And it's like, it's just, it makes you feel good because people are literally going to like a literal shop randomly in like Sydney and they're getting like a boutique star fragrance for, how much do they sell these for? Like 70 bucks, 75, something like that. Um, pretty affordable if you ask me for what you get. And he makes them in front of you, order, order. And I don't know, this, the whole like premise of Jalou, I, don't, I haven't seen it before. Like, name another brand that you can just go up to the store, ask to make a fragrance. Oh wait, there's some fragrance stores like that and like, you know, you know the ones I'm talking about? Like, oh, make your own fragrance. And it's in the middle of the shopping center. Those, those are pretty cool too, those are pretty cool. But in terms of Jalou, impressive. So this is Icarus, this is a clone of Pegasus. And this is just a beautiful powdery sweet almond fragrance with kind of like a, a intense vanilla powdery heliotrope. It's pretty, it's pretty insane, this fragrance. Then we have this, Shell Shocked. This is his clone of Spice More Extreme. And at first, I didn't think it was that close to Spice More Extreme. But when I smell Spice More Extreme in stores, I thought I was smelling this. So, so it's pretty impressive, this fragrance. Um, I asked for this one specifically because I love Spice More Extreme. This one is Top G. This is a clone of Aventus Elixir. You know, this during the time I made that silly little Photoshop, he actually made this uh, custom for me. And it's basically his Aventus clone with added oils. It's pretty much like an Alexa, you know what I'm saying? But this is also pretty impressive. This was the first Jalou I've ever gotten. And it's basically a more ambiguous, heavy, musky version of Aventus. It's pretty nice. This one is Lavish Affair. Now this is my favorite Jalou. It's just mainly because of the memories, but I love the amber, vanilla, resinous kind of scent profile this has. And so far from what I've smelled, this fragrance is pretty much on the same level I just, I don't really know about accuracy. I've never done a side by side, but I really love this one. And this is by far one of the most impressive clones of smell. This is Citronella. And it's a clone of this bad boy right here, Set Up Boise. And man, a little quick story about this, but um, I wasn't expecting this fragrance to be that close to Set Up Boise. I had a little sample of Set Up Boise, used it up. Then I got this and then I ended up getting this. And I was just like taking it back. When I put them side by side, I was like, wow, that's, it's crazy. And this actually lasts a little bit longer than Setup Boise does. It's, it's weird as shit. But now, bro, Jalou is getting bigger. Like, Jalou, that sounds a little wrong. No, Jalou is getting um, 
he's, he's getting some recognition. I love it. I love it. And I love that he's actually like improving his fragrances as well. Like every single time I talk to him, he always tells me, oh, by the way, bro, that set of Boise clone that I gave you. Yeah, I improved the formulation. I'm like, what the fuck? So he's always, he's always, he's got the forward way of thinking. And I like that about him. And I saw on Facebook, he's got like these new bottles too. And I think, wow, those bottles look like they straight out of Roja Dove or some shit. I look forward to, um, you know, checking out the new fragrances he's got to send because we're actually doing another collab soon. And he's gonna send me a bunch of like, the, I think he's sending me some new bottles and whatnot, but he's sending some pretty heavy hitters. You know, he said, bro, get ready. Cause this next batch I'm about to send you is what Jalu is all about. And I'm like, I look forward to it, bro. No, but no, so far, this is gonna be the thumbnail right here. Like the main thing about Jalu fragrances that stand out to me is just the potency. I think Jalu is definitely catering towards people who value pro projection and longevity, bro. Like for me, it's not everything. Like who fucking cares if a fragrance doesn't last as long as you want to? Just spray more of it or bring a little travel out of Mars, you know what I'm saying? But I get it, I get it. These guys, like this thing is, I'm just gonna spray a little bit of this fragrance right here. Let me show you how potent it is. Okay, let's uh, and look, these atomizers are pretty cool too, look at this. That's nice, bro, nice. Oh, that smells so good. Sweet, citrus, woody, leathery fragrance, just like Soto Boise. And I'll put Soto Boise right here as well. Oh, that's nice too. But yeah, look at that. That's Mancera and this is Jalu. So Jalu, he, I mean, he pumps these things with oils, bro. I've never actually like got a freshie from Jalu yet. All of these are like heavy, thick fragrances. I wonder how good his like freshies will be because like these are just so oily. I don't know if like freshies really benefit from being super oily. I feel like at that point they become pretty cloying, but hey, he is sending me an Urban Pure clone next. So we'll see about that. But yeah, no, so far, Jalu, bro, keep up the good work. You are getting up there. People love you, people respect you. And the fan base that you're building is pretty freaking intense. Like bro, people like they comment on my videos and they swear by your shit, bro. They say, nah, Jalu all the way, bro. Like, I won't be buying anything else. Jalu is the only thing that lasts on me. Jalu is great value for money that are closest. They're like, wow, okay, okay. I haven't tried enough to make a full on critique on the whole brand, but so far from what I've tried, I, I approve and I'm pretty impressed. So yeah, guys, that's just a quick video. I'll see you guys soon. I will be putting up another video when we do the next collab. It's gonna be great. But so far from the five fragrances I've tried, Jalu, you're doing good.